Hey, so I realize it's a little dark. Um, I'm in my bedroom and it's about 8.30 now. So I am going to start off this session with a anchoring sound. This is a singing bowl for the root chakra. So. today's meditation the focus is on standing up for what we believe this uh, journey for me represents um, a discipline for myself and something that I'm doing uh, not necessarily for any kind of outcome it's really a promise I made to myself so I'm going to continue it for the whole uh, 100 meditations um, and it's a test for me to, um, to stay the course, so to be my word and to uh, accomplish something regardless of the circumstances, whether it's perfect or not. Like my son is in the bath in the room next door, so you might hear him splashing, you might hear some water running. Uh, and I might have to get up uh, midway to attend to him if he needs me. But I've uh, decided I'm doing the meditation anyway. And it's perfect and it's beautiful and it's magical. So, so sit down in a cross-legged cross -legged position. And <sighs> so I like to hold my fingers in this position. And there is a significance in Indian um, spirituality, in Hinduism or Buddhism. I forget what it is, but it's something to do with energy and an intention, and it's supposed to be powerful. So uh, I find it enjoyable to put my fingers that way. So start breathing in to your body and start... Uh, Opening up your throat, so you can do that by letting your jaw drop. And it might make you yawn because it's instantly relaxing when we open up our throat and we let our jaw fall and close our eyes. Ah, so for the next 10 minutes or so, place an intention for yourself. Ah, for me, it's giving a gift to myself. It's living for me. Mm. This whole weekend was for me, and I'm so, 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 so grateful. It was juicy, it was exquisite, it was fun. Mm. So as you start... Breathing more consciously, <clears throat> paying attention to your breath coming in and out. Check in with your body, your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, your fingers, your chest, your upper back, your lower back, your hips, your legs, feet, toes. Just doing a, a body scan. And just this simple act is its small yet powerful. Sometimes it's in the small things that we get the biggest breakthroughs or the biggest impact. Hmm. Hmm. So visualize yourself sitting 
in front of an ocean and you hear the waves crashing against the shore and you see a beautiful sunset and there's a beautiful breeze and the sand is warm and cool at the same time and you're all alone on this long beach white sand clean so I had to stop the video and now we're back so you're sitting on a beach and there's no one to be seen it's quiet it's still you might hear some seagulls in the distance you might see a sailboat also So as you hear the waves washing and crashing against the shore, you also notice some thoughts going through your head. You might, you might hear some noise in the background. So there might be sounds in the background or there just might be some distractions in your body like some itching on your nose or itching behind your ear or just some physical discomfort and that's okay just welcome it the same way the waves are going to come and go whether we can control it or not it's going to happen so all we can do is observe By taking this time for yourself every day, you develop a very strong discipline. It develops your character. It allows you to slow down and to take a pause and to breathe. And the more you can do that, the more you have power in yourself. And the more you develop your own strength, the more you can overcome obstacles and stay positive amidst the chaos and stay present and alert, regardless of external circumstances. thing that I noticed uh, meditation really helped me with is my parenting. I have more patience and I'm definitely a lot more calm in situations where I would normally blow up or I would burst out in anger or, or feel the need to walk away from a situation. I can be still with it and, and calm myself and soothe myself. And I bounce back from difficult situations a lot faster.
As a singer, my singing has improved. And my overall well-being, my happiness and health have improved as well. So I highly encourage you to make some time every day, whether it's two minutes, whether it's 10 minutes, whether it's 20, whether you're sitting in your car, whether it's in your bedroom or in the bathroom or office, wherever it might be. Take time for yourself today and you will, you will have new levels of well-being and power. I wish you love, joy, and happiness. Namaste.